Here's another easy little how-to video. Uh, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. Uh, we're going to be replacing the upper trailing arm bushings on the rear end. Works on pretty much any four-link style vehicle. Uh, Caprice, G-Body, Cadillacs, whatever else has a rear end in it. Uh, Camaros, I'm sure. Um, anything with a four-link style rear end. So, I'm going to show you how it's done. Usually they're not too bad, but I've run into some that are a real pain. Hopefully this one will go good, even though I know it won't. In a perfect world, you can get a hammer, knock them out. I've done some that are have been that easy. This one, they're bent up. The car's got hydraulics, so they've been pushed to their limits. I'm going to try and tap that down with a punch. Then I'm going to try and knock them out with a hammer. More than likely, I'll have to get an air chisel in there and have fun with them. But we'll see how it goes. <coughs> I can live with that. That's a lot better than the other ones I've done. This one may not be so easy. Cave that in a little bit more. Installation is opposite of removal, but with a lot more cussing. As always, as we're a little bit grease, here comes your friend. Should grease up the inside of the axle. And grease your bushing. Same thing with your bushings. But what I like to do is keep them in the freezer because it'll actually shrink them just a little bit. And normally I have a piece of pipe that slide right over that, knock them in. Today I don't have a piece of pipe for some reason, so I'm going to see what it does just knock them in. 
Yeah, if you keep it in the freezer, like I said, it'll shrink them just enough to make life easier on you. And they go in just a little ridge right here. Hardest part is getting them to go in square. Once you get them in crooked, they don't really like to drive in. So try and keep them as square as you can. That's it. That's how it's done. The grease makes a huge difference. I messed up one time. Didn't really have grease there. I was like, ah, I'll just slap them in. That didn't work out too well. Ended up having to go get some grease anyways. Worth it in the long run. So it is better to have a piece of pipe put on there that way you're not bending the face you're pushing all up. Granted, nothing comes in contact with it, but it's just better to keep it in good shape. That's where gloves come in handy, too. Thought I was going to give us some trouble there. That's it. So that's the easiest way I've found to put new bushings in there. Did bend up the metal a little bit. Mainly that one. Which if it's that big of a deal, you can take a chisel and straighten it back out. You know, you can see it because there's a control arm that goes over it anyways. But there you have it. And that is the part number. I ordered it off of uh, Rock Auto. Local part stores couldn't get them anymore, and it's AZ Delco, so that's even better. But that's it. So it's that easy, most of the time. Uh, if you know you're going to be doing some bushings ahead of time, go ahead and spray some PB Blaster or WD-40, anything in there. Uh, like I said, sometimes you do run into some nightmare ones. Uh, if the bushing is really, really worn out, you can kind of chisel it out with a screwdriver, and then just basically collapse the hole in. Uh, with a chisel, knock it out of the rear end. I've done that a bunch of times. It works pretty good if you get something that's like really, really rusted in there. Uh, air chisel also, you can put it on that back lip on the outside of the bushing and hit it with air chisel. It'll usually knock them out pretty good. I'm sure there's other ways. Uh, they do make pullers, like bearing presses. I haven't had very good luck with those. It's kind of like basically a piece of all thread that runs through the bushing with cups on each side. I've stripped a few of them out trying to get them to go through or come out and go back in. I just use a hammer all the time. It seems to work a lot better. But other than that, now you know how to do it. Now you know how I do it. Throw them in the freezer a couple hours, a couple days if you want. And uh, knock them out, knock them back in. So that's it for this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, all that. Tell me if you got any better ideas of doing it. Uh, I've done this a bunch of times. It works pretty good for me, so I'm pretty happy with it. Other than that, we'll see you on the next go-around. What's this? <laughs>